What's up, y'all boys? I know it's been a while, huh? It's been 10 days since my last upload, and there's a valid reason for that. Guys, if you guys are in the Discord, you already know what happened, so make sure you join the Discord. A lot of times, I'll be talking in the Discord, and I don't actually like, put it in a community post on YouTube. So if you want to know, be in the Discord. But essentially, I graduated, right? So I moved. I've gone to university now, and I live in a house off campus. So I'm not in the dorms or anything. I'm off campus, and when I got there, we didn't have Wi-Fi yet. We had to wait a whole week. Uh, yeah, a whole week for Wi-Fi. I finally got it on the 6th of September, but the Wi-Fi is pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie, it's very, very bad. I be lagging on just regular games. I can't even play Overwatch. Some of you know, Overwatch is probably one of my favorite games, and I can't really play that, because I be lagging sometimes. It was kind of annoying, but oh, I literally can't stream. Like, I cannot stream. It's bad. It is bad. So until I get like maybe like a booster or a router where I am, uh, where my setup is and whatnot, I won't be able to stream. I'll be honest. And even when I do get that, I won't be streaming a lot like how I used to, because I'm doing engineering in university. So like my schedule is low key packed. I can't go. That's a lot. I have like six classes pretty much every day. Like it's a lot, but it's cool. It's not. It's not that bad. But I don't have time to be streaming like the five hour streams every day like I was doing back then a few months ago right so it's cool i'm gonna try to upload now obviously i have wi-fi now so i can upload um it won't be consistent uploads well no it will be but not like consistent daily uploads like i was doing during the summer it'll probably be like i'm gonna try to keep it like at least once a week at least one upload i'm gonna try to stay true to that at least one i might be able to get in, like two but at least one upload one upload. I'm telling you, it, like I, I don't have too much free time. I don't know. It's it's just it's fine though. But but also because it's my first year, and first year you gotta like hit it good. After like a few months, you know I'll get used to it and whatnot. But it's still new to me and stuff. So I'm trying. I'm I really don't want to fall behind. Cause if I fall behind, it's bad. Like, I already have bare assignments, and I started school. Really, my first lecture was like on the sixth or the seventh. We already have like multiple assignments. You. This Monday, so yeah, I'm trying to talk about how. But enough of my yeah, man, enough talk. Let's get into the video. Make sure you join the Discord so you you never out of the loop. But that's where I've been. That's literally that's what I've been up to. That's why I haven't uploaded in so long. But we're back now. Let's get into it. All right, so I plan on buying a bunch of crystals. I haven't bought crystals too much in this game yet, so I've been saving my time relics. And you know, I've just been doing like gladiator runs or no, time gates i've been doing uh raids you know the eyes in your raid i've been doing the a ronker storm that's probably probably the best way to get time relics because every ronker storm that you kill you get two relics right and there's like what five different stages there can be up to like 15 different npcs for you to kill so it's, it's very good and the time gate as well if you get lucky you can get like 30 crystals for one time game but yeah i was really I was farming those and I farmed up a bit. I farmed about a hundred, I think, time crystals. For time relics, I have about a hundred time relics on me. And I'ma go spin. Right, I'm gonna go trade them in for some crystals. Hopefully we can get some good crystals, some new legendaries. I was looking at the Trello and I saw they added a new crystal of null, I think. I don't recognize that last time I looked at it. So hopefully we can get that or just any legendary I'd be happy with. Honestly, I like it. So yeah, so we got finally I have a hundred town crystals and I have AKN. So all I need to do now is just go find that PC in the cafe. And you go talk to him so that I could convert these crystals into gems. And hopefully we get some good gems. Okay, this is the you talk to. I think it's called the Shady yeah, Shady Shinigami, whatever. You have to pay 10 relics. Oh, time relics. That's what they're called. I'm gonna call them a crystal. And a 50 yen for a crystal. Or for a gem. So I'm gonna open the trailer real quick so that I know what gems I get. Alright, we finally won and I got. Damn! 30 time relics before we buy any crystals. Let's check the ones that Swiffy gave me. So he gave me a flute. Man. Give me a few. When I look at the Trello, this one here is uh, Shadow. Yep, that's Shadow. This is the Crystal of Wind. 
and then this is the product of crystal. These are both common, and this is a rare, which is 80%. Also, when I was AFK for a bit, some dude just dropped a crystal in core or something like that. And this is another rare, and it gives a life steal. So, whatever I move I use this on, I'm stealing that person's life. Right, so that's actually a fire crystal. I'm definitely using that. But yeah, so let's just buy crystals. I think we get 13. Let's just rack it up real quick. So we yeah. Oh, I got a lot of duplicates. That's not good. So I got another encore. I got three shadows, one wind crystal, another product crystal. Please tell me I got at least one with me. What the heck are these? Let's pull them out. Okay, so this crystal is the crystal of Aegis. It's another rare, and it grants hyper armor to the move you use, protecting you from one hit. It does not grant you from an enemy's counter and card breaks. Oh, you got hyper armor for just one move. Not bad. What's this one? I think this one's a yeah. This is a common crystal force. It gives you like extra knockback on whatever skill you put it on. This is crystal of spirit. Crystal of spirit halves the Riyatsu cost of the move to which it's applied. It also removes anti Riyatsu regen from the move. That's pretty good actually. But I mean, is it really? I feel like you don't really run out of Riyatsu. I don't really ever run out of it, so I may not actually even use that one to be honest, but it's not bad. And then this, which I can't find one that actually looks exactly like this. The closest one I found was the crystal of exponentiality, whatever that is. I definitely said that wrong, but the crystal expands the time frame between the hit and the damage that the opponent takes. It also makes the moon heal 30% less damage. So I think that's what it is. The thing why I'm confused is that it's not glowing like how it is here. But there's really no other crystal in the, in the trail that looks like this. So if you know what this is or if I'm correct, let me know. I'm pretty sure I am. But I'm not gonna use it just in case. No legendary unfortunately. Right. So we got a decent amount. Ooh wait, I forgot about this guy. Wait, my phone, let me find who this guy is. This is the Crystal of Reap. I didn't see this guy here. The Crystal of Reap. The Riot's Crystal of Reap. This is disables my fault. All forms of healing besides health packs for a person hit with the move. So they can't heal essentially. I mean, except for health pack. What does that mean? What the heck? Oh, health packs. When you kill somebody. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good actually. I don't know if there's a time frame or not a time frame. Um, What's the word? Like how long it lasts. I don't know how long it lasts for, but that's pretty nice. I go last pretty good. This stuff.